what are some of the security functions that you outsource? What seems to be you know easily scalable and outsourceable? Having an internal business continuity team, I think, is critical. Crisis and risk kind of flows into that. We keep that internal as well, and of course, cybersecurity. Now, if I look at what you could outsource, we kind of look at the lower echelon monitoring services. So both in physical and cyber, we, we outsource our monitoring services. Is it monitoring the network or monitoring cameras, doors, and alarms? CSOC and SOC, is CSOC the cybersecurity operations center or a traditional security operations center? And a lot of what a SOC does is, is monitor. So when they escalate, it goes to internal folks. That initial monitoring, that 24-7, we absolutely outsource that. Um, other things I, I found successful in outsourcing and, and really a cost benefit as well would be threat intelligence, open source monitoring, and special services on retainer. Uh, so that might be an armed response, surveillance, a medevac from overseas, things that aren't going to happen that often, but I can't, I can't leave a staff on payroll kind of sitting around waiting for that one off. I scale up and I scale right back down. How do I best work with these outsourcers? Because they really do need to become part of your team, but they're not. So how do you manage that? I'll go back to uh, my time in Baghdad, for example. I had 1,200 people under my command, special agents, techs, active duty, reservist, contractors. It was we. Um, I had third country nationals coming in, providing certain services. It was always the security team, regardless of what your category was or what polo shirt and what logo you wore. So addressing your SOC specialist by first name, getting them in staff meetings. Uh, a great example is when I outsource the SOC, although it's a vendor, they go through all the onboarding training as if they're a frontier employee. So they understand our brand, they understand our culture and our four pillars. So it's really hard for them to provide a service to an employee when they're not even sure what the mission of the company is. Can you share another example of a, a manual process that you replaced with an automated one? And like, what did that overall effort entail? And what was the impact to Frontier? The one thing I noticed, you know, when I first arrived, uh, they were still doing a very uh, manual heavy process. So, you know, bringing on, you know, alert media, mass notification, it automated it overnight. Um, I mean, literally overnight. My first week at the company, uh, we went through Hurricane Ian in Florida. So it was a little over a year ago. And I was just a fly on the wall. And when we did the accountability, luckily it wasn't that bad of a hurricane, but the accountability was fairly, fairly painful to watch because it was, it was sort of sending out a spreadsheet, uh, you know, an Excel spreadsheet to cell phones on folks in the field that are focused on recovery efforts, down power lines, down communication lines. So the last thing you want to do is task people more in the field, right? We're there to help. We want to, we want to remove as much as we can so they can focus on it. So that, that was a big miss for us. So if you fast forward a year later to Hurricane Idalia that came rolling through, you know, we did have our a mass certification system up and running. After the storm, we made the decision, let's do an accountability survey. So we pushed out the survey. And Peter, I want to say within about probably 20 minutes, we had 90% accounted for at a click wow. of a button, which was pretty impressive. And that other 10%, right? Um, that just reinforced the use of technology. So not only did we get that accountability in about, you know, again, 20 minutes, 90%, it really reinforced everyone to, to download this technology. Uh, I know a lot of my, my counterparts, we struggle on getting folks to download an app to use the tools that we give them. But never let a good crisis go to waste, I always say. So yeah. when a big hurricane is burling down onto your coastline, um, I remember that night because I'm sitting at my home computer here with my team and I'm watching the cell phone icons populate like gremlins all over the map. And it was, a, it, was, it was a beautiful thing for security officer. So I went from maybe 10 or 20 people downloading the app to hundreds and wow. hundreds. And, th and it just went across the state of Florida because now they're like, oh, I should probably turn this app on. There's something real happening. 